We often hear a lot of statements like carbs make you gain weight, skipping dinner makes you lose weight, doesn't eating fat make you fat? Well, most of them are misconceptions that are unfortunately spread around the fitness world. Nowadays, we hear so much advice about diet and fitness from everywhere. Unfortunately, a lot of these are misconceptions. Hello guys and welcome to Med Simplified. In this video, we are going to talk about 5 myths related to fitness and nutrition. We will break them down and reveal the truth behind them. So without wasting any further time, let's get straight into the video. Myth number 1. The more protein you take, the faster your muscles will grow. This is incorrect. While it is true that our bodies require protein for muscle growth, consuming excessive amounts does not guarantee better results. There is a limit to how much proteins our bodies can utilize. Once that limit is reached, there are no additional benefits to the protein and it is generally just excreted out. In fact, after a certain point, it can actually be harmful for our body. There are several studies that show increased risk of heart disease, kidney damage, liver problems, digestive issues and even weight gain with excessive protein intake. This is because by consuming extra protein, you are also consuming more calories, which can lead to weight gain. Also, it is important to remember that we are all different and therefore, all of our protein needs are also different. Generally, it is recommended that you consume 0.7 to 1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight for optimal muscle growth. But this varies with body composition, the amount of activity you do and your fitness goals. Make sure you are consuming the right amount of protein for your specific body type and goals, rather than blindly consuming excessive amounts of protein. Eating a balanced diet that includes high quality lean proteins such as chicken, eggs, soy, yogurt or cottage cheese is very important. But if you are taking supplements on top of that, it's a good idea to keep a track of how much total protein you are consuming to avoid health issues. Eating a sufficient number of calories with the right distribution of macros and micronutrients for your goals will be far more beneficial to you rather than mindlessly consuming large quantities of protein. Myth number 2. Supplements are necessary for muscle growth. While certain supplements can be helpful, they are not essential for building muscle. It is important to have a well-balanced diet sourced from whole foods containing necessary nutrients such as carbs, proteins, fats, micronutrients and fiber. This will support muscle growth and your overall health far better than supplements. Generally, people trying to build muscle often take protein supplements. But while there are benefits to protein supplements, it is absolutely possible to meet your daily protein requirements through a well-balanced diet consisting of high-quality lean proteins. This tends to be sometimes be difficult for people with dietary restrictions such as people following a vegan diet in which case certain supplements may be beneficial. Additionally, a point that many people tend to forget is the importance of micronutrients in their diet. Consuming micronutrients from natural sources such as spinach, broccoli, almonds or sweet potatoes is vital to ensure good health. This is because when they are consumed in natural forms, their absorption and usability are far better as compared to supplements. Additionally, it provides a more balanced intake of nutrients when consumed naturally. Regardless, it is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle with sufficient exercise, nutrition, hydration, as well as rest and not depend on supplements to meet all your requirements. If you are unsure of whether this is possible naturally for you, do consult a nutritionist or fitness specialist rather than trying to figure it on your own. Myth number 3. Carbs are not so important for muscle growth. The myth that carbs are not important for muscle growth is simply not true. In fact, carbs are essential for muscle growth and performance. Carbs are the body's main source of energy. They are broken down into glucose, which is the fuel that muscles use to contract. Without enough carbs, muscles will not be able to perform at their best. Carbs after digestion are converted to glucose, which gets stored in the muscles as glycogen, an energy source that we can utilize during exercise. Glycogen is a form of stored energy that muscles can use during high-intensity exercise. When glycogen stores are low, muscles will fatigue more quickly. Carbs also stimulate the release of a hormone known as insulin. 
Insulin helps in transporting amino acids which are the building blocks of protein inside our muscle cells. If you are looking to build muscle, don't be afraid of carbs. Start tracking your carb intake and see how it affects your workouts and recovery. Try adding more complex carbs to your diet such as whole grains, fruits and vegetables. Complex carbs are digested more slowly than simple carbs which helps to keep your blood sugar levels stable and provides your muscle with a steady supply of energy. They are also a good source of fiber which can help you feel full and satisfied after eating. Here are some specific tips for adding complex carbs to your diet. Choose whole grains over refined grains. Whole grains are a good source of fiber and nutrients while refined grains have been stripped of their nutrients. Eat fruits and vegetables with every meal. Fruits and vegetables are a good source of complex carbs as well as vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Add beans and lentils to your diet. Beans and lentils are a good source of complex carbs, protein as well as fiber. If you need a snack, choose a complex carb snack such as a piece of fruit, a hard boiled egg or a handful of nuts. Myth number 4. Fat should be minimized in a muscle building diet. This is a common myth that is often perpetuated by people who are trying to lose weight. But the truth is that fat is essential for muscle growth. Fat provides the body with energy, helps to regulate hormones and protects various organs. When your body is performing regular activities that consume less energy such as walking or typing, it utilizes fat as energy. When this happens, the glycogen reserves coming from carbs can be saved for higher intensity workouts that help you build muscle. Fats are also necessary for hormone production including testosterone which is essential for muscle growth and recovery. Fat also enhances the absorption of fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E and vitamin K which helps in muscle repair as well as the immune function. Fat also helps with feeling full for longer periods of time to avoid overeating which supports your muscle building goals. But we need to be careful because not all fats are equally good for us. There are mainly three kinds of fats: unsaturated fats which are good for us and saturated and trans fats both of which are bad for our health. Some good sources of unsaturated fats are olive oil, nuts such as cashews, almonds and walnuts and seeds like flax seeds, chia seeds and sesame seeds. Chicken fish and beans are also a good source of unsaturated fat on the other hand saturated fats are calorie dense and can contribute to weight gain and obesity they can be found in foods like red meat butter and cheese try to avoid them as much as possible trans fats disrupt metabolism reduce muscle mass promote inflammation and increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases they can be found in processed foods such as cookies crackers and fried foods strictly try to avoid these myth number 5 high protein diets cause kidney damage this is a topic that has created a lot of controversy for a long time however there is no evidence that high protein diets cause kidney damage in healthy people In fact, some studies have shown that high protein diets can actually be beneficial for kidney health. The myth that high protein diets cause kidney damage may have originated from the fact that people with kidney disease often need to limit their protein intake. However, this is because their kidneys are not able to filter the excess protein out of their blood. To be careful, ensure that you are consuming a sufficient amount of water to stay hydrated and also try to avoid concentrated urine which can create issues in the kidneys while on a high protein diet. Yet, if you are unsure of your current kidney function, please see a specialist that can guide you in the right direction in terms of your protein intake levels. So there you have it, five common myths about gym nutrition and the truth behind them. We hope you learned something new about muscle growth and nutrition. If you have any questions or want to learn more please feel free to leave a comment we'll be happy to answer your questions and provide you with additional resources if you